How's it going? So today I got another robocall, which is pretty annoying, and I've been doing a little bit of Python scripting. So I decided to look online and see if I could find any libraries that would let me uh, send calls out, and I came across Twilio. Uh, Twilio is this API that you can use. What they do is they host a HTTP a uh, client that you can connect to and use a Twilio number to send messages, phone number, or calls, do all that sorts of stuff. Um, and they have a whole bunch of languages, but I'll be using Python. Um, you do have to create an account because there's going to be a couple things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need your account SID, your authentication token, and then you're going to have to get a free number, and you're going to need that number because this is going to be some stuff we need for the program. So once you get all that information set up, uh, we can start programming. You do have to pip install Twilio, and um, if, you're, if you're using uh, Python uh, 2, your code will look like this, and if you're using Python 3, you will use Twilio REST client, like I'm using. So we're going to start out with the constants. Uh, from is going to be your Twilio number. <clears throat> and then called is going to be the target number, so the number that we're going to be calling. Make sure you use a plus one format because it has to be a 10-digit number that you're calling. And then this is where your account SID and authentication token will come in. Uh, I'm not going to put in my information until the end before I compile it just so I don't lose my account. Um, now I'll create uh, a class for all of this to go into. We can just call it class call, and this is where we'll use our init method. So in this, this is uh, this is where we're going to use our constants. And then we're not done yet. So now we're going to add in a call counter. So call counter will just keep track of how many calls we've made. Uh, we'll just leave a note. Iterates with calls. And then our last one will be our limit. And we'll just keep our limit set to 20 right now. This is just the limit of outgoing calls before exit and now that we're done with all those variables we can create our call function so we'll define a make call and inside of our make call uh, we need to create a client so uh, Python 3 users, uh, this is what you'll use. If you're using Python 2, make sure you're using client right here. Um, so inside of this, uh, this is where we're going to use our account SID and our authentication token. So make sure you have that ready, self dot account SID, self dot authentication token. And now we're going to start our call loop. Inside of our call loop, um, we'll just simple while loop while um, self dot call counter is less than self dot limit. When that's not happening, this is when we'll create a call. So we'll start it out call equals do client.calls.create and then once you create a call you're going to need to have the to and from so 
two equals that's your target so we're going to do self dot called and our from underscore is going to be equal to um, who it is so self dot from and then after that we're going to use a URL and what the URL is going to do I have this voice XML file uh, that uh, basically just tells the call what to do once it calls someone so for me um, it plays this mp3 off of a server and will record it there's different things you can do um, that's just what I'm using try to find your own uh, your own mp3 and stuff just so you're not like hogging uh, the client so once we have that figured out let me just clean that up um, we can iterate our call counter so we'll do self dot call counter equals And then we can, this is where we can print more information if we want to. So we can specify what call number it is, plus str. And then we can say who we're calling. Because we can also set this up as an array to call multiple numbers if you want. So then we can specify who we're calling. And then after that, we are going to want to set a sleep. I recommend setting a longer sleep duration than five. Um, I don't know, I'm just doing it that way though. So uh, then we can get to creating a main um, actually, before that as well, since we did set this up as a class, uh, trying to make it user friendly, we'll add a set target in case you want to change the number. Uh, so inside of this set target, we can do self dot called equals str. And put enter phone number of target use plus one before. There we go. So that'll set that. So inside of our main function, we can set up. Um, our call so we'll just call it robo equals call and then after that we can do robo dot all right so um oh and then we'll just do a simple run so Sorry, but if underscore but um, that's the bare bones of the program uh, I'm gonna set the constants up and take the target out so you guys don't see my number and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's running uh, yep all right guys, so we're back and um, I entered in the constants for the program, hit them at the bottom, and I also, uh, down here, you can't really see it, but I took away the number to see like who's the number that's uh, being called because I'm calling myself and I don't want you guys to see that. Uh, but once that's all figured out, we can go ahead and run this so we can just do a simple Python calls.py and I have my phone right next to me so we can hear it go off. 
Um, and then if you answer it, and I'm just receiving calls on top of calls, and I'm putting the hold. So yeah, there's that. Thanks.